Hi, this is Alex with a video demonstrating the new features for metadata permissions now available in GV Stratus version 4.8. We've added powerful new features to the asset-based permissions we delivered in recent releases. As an administrator in the GV Stratus control panel, I have long been able to add custom fields and create metadata groups for the Stratus inspector within my system. Now through the permissions feature, I can apply read and write permissions to any of the metadata fields within my system, including custom fields. I can modify the permissions of each field in the system for each user or user group applied to my system. Let's say I want to only allow my archivist to change the purge date on my content. I can add that group to the metadata permissions for that field and allow them full read and write permissions. I can then change the permissions on that field so that everyone else can only read that field. Now, if I log into GV Stratus as an archivist user, I can see that field within GV Stratus and I can modify it. However, if I log into Stratus as a different user who doesn't have archivist permissions and I look at the same asset, you will notice that I no longer have the ability to modify the purge date field. This is a really cool, powerful feature that allows system admins and media managers to really control the access to valuable data within the system. If we look back in the control panel, please note that all existing fields in your system when it is upgraded to Stratus 4.8 will by default be provided with read-write access for everyone until their permissions are modified. Now let's look at another great new permissions feature in GV Stratus. We've added new access controls to the permissions applied against assets. These allow security managers to control who can read, modify and delete both markers and segments against assets. There are six new controls to provide really fine control over who can do what with assets in the system. This allows you, for example, to determine whether specific users or groups can read, write and delete markers, but can only see, but not modify, important segments against assets which I may rely upon for my playout workflow. Finally, let's look at our last new metadata related feature in GV Stratus 4.8. I can now decide whether my custom drop-down text fields, which have predefined values, can be expanded with additional user-defined values entered from within the GV Stratus application. If I create or modify a custom field with defined values, such as this one, I now get a new control to make the field user expandable. If I select this checkbox, my users in GV Stratus can still choose from the existing drop-down values, but if needed they can add their own values too. In the GV Stratus application, as a user I can decide if an extra value is needed and add it to the field and simultaneously apply it against the asset. Many thanks for watching. There are more GV Stratus videos on our YouTube channel and I look forward to bringing you more great features soon.